I made you a surprise. What is it? Yeah, close your eyes. Ready? Yeah. Sit there. Okay. <gasps> Do you like it? Yes. I'm putting them on right now. Do you want me to put them on before you go to the movies? Put them on right now. Okay. <laughs> Which one's your favorite? That one. Is it? You like Puppet the best? Yes. Once again, we have another haul. <laughs> this is from Canada Nail Supplies. These I already put into the chips container. We have Natural Almond Extra Short, size 0. Natural Almond Extra Short, size 3. And Natural Almond Extra Short, size 4. I have a customer who always gets this shape, so I was just stocking up on those sizes for her. Next we have a Apre gel color in Golden Anniversary. I've used this one a bunch of times. It's stunning. So sparkly. Every time I show my clients, they want it immediately. This is actually my first color from them. Next, I just got a pack of pure cotton wipes. These are definitely not lint-free, but they are the best I've used for holding like lots of liquid. So I will always repurchase these. Last but not least, we have a purple professional, I think it's called Keep It Collection. There's six colors in here. I'll show them to you. First up, we have P2257 in Keep It Chic. This one is the only glitter one in the collection. Or it's not glitter, actually. It's like a shimmer. It is so pretty. Perfect for Valentine's Day. We're going to swatch these today. Next up, we have Keep It Fun, P2258. Beautiful, like medium green shade. I really like that. Then we have Keep It Simple P2259. I love this one. It's like a purple with like a bit of pink background to it. Then we have Keep It Real, P2260. Beautiful light purple. I will get tons of use out of this in the spring. Next we have Keep It Cool, P2261. This one is like a orangey brown. Really nice for the fall. Last but not least, we have Keep It Up P2262.
This one's like a light army green. I really like that one. This one will be perfect for spring nails as well. That is all the colors from there. Next, we just have two little things from Modern Beauty. It's like our local store here that sells a tiny bit of nail supplies. I got this 960 ml bottle of nail polish remover. I don't personally use this one on my clients. There's nothing wrong with it. I just, I really love the Zoya one. This one I use when I'm doing a ton of stamping on press-ons. And the last thing we have is Strawberry Margarita, which is actually the color on my nails. It's almost like a raspberry pink. Love it. I also just seen an article. <laughs> Me and my client were looking it up and OPI tests on animals, so I don't know if I will be buying any more of these. Next up, we have a bunch of things from Sheen, like always. <laughs> First off, we have these duckbill shaped nails. They are a 100 pack, and I believe they go from sizes 0 to 9. I've never actually used these, but I figured I should have them just in case. I don't know if anybody will ever use these, but... Fun to have, and these are also just the tips, not the full cover nail. I think I already bought these a while ago. <laughs> I can never remember what I buy. Next up, we have this 12 grid container. And it has all hearts, lips, butterflies, um, all different sizes, flowers, in red and pink and white. I thought these would be perfect for Valentine's Day. I have a few packs of something like this already, but they're mostly like pink, white, and purple. So I thought red would be cool to add. Next up, we have some charms. These are roses. I really like these. They're way more like realistic than some of the other resin ones I have. And you get six of each color. yellow, pink, and like a darker rose pink. Next we have this three pack of pigment powders. I have actually never used pigment powders from Sheen before, so I guess we will see how it goes. It comes with three colors. This one, in person, is more like a corally orange. And then these two pinks. This one's more like a, like a neon pink. And this one is more like a fuchsia. Next up we have this stamping plate. I actually got it for this image right here. The rest I'm not really a fan of, only because they're not too detailed or anything but I will get use out of this. I have a single image heart I found like this at a plate at Sharper's Drug Mart years ago and it's wore right out. <laughs> My clients love that one. First up for water decals, we have this sheet of bears. You get 12 different squares of them. There's a birthday, Valentine's, some spring, summer, These are really cute. I don't have too many beer ones. Next up we have this Christmas sheet. This one also comes with 12. There's some Santas. A 
I find these so hard to show because it's such a big sheet. Breakdancing Santa. I love him playing the guitar there. And the little cookie exchange on the bottom. That's so cute. I love using these. We have one more sheet. This one is a Valentine's Day one. I really like this. It kind of reminds me of that like vintage scrapbooking thing I've been seeing on TikTok. Can never go wrong with floral ones. I love this little camera here. And this whole sheet on the bottom. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm excited to use these. Last but not least, we have some stickers. I think I have a really bad sticker addiction right now. <laughs> I love that. Actually, I love this whole sheet. They're so cute. There's that one. This one here is a two pack, but I believe they're both the same. Love those. This pack here I think was supposed to be like Barbie inspired maybe. I personally don't think I would ever get that to stick on a nail. Is that one? This one has Barbie on it, and some drips, some Barbie cars, some more bees. This is the last sheet. I really like all the lips and the like bubbly bee. The last little bit of stuff I have here, of course more stickers, <laughs> is from Timu. We will start with the water ones. This one is a, another Christmas sheet, but I didn't have this one. I mostly got it for like the little creatures in the hot chocolate because that's really cute. I also really like how a lot of stickers are coming out with like some girls on them and stuff. There's that. And we will start with this sticker stack. There is like every season you could imagine in these packs. <laughs> I was just trying to get like a couple Easter ones, some for spring, and like just a couple ones I didn't have. This is a four pack. I think it's supposed to be more like graffiti-ish style. There's that one. I really like that actually. I don't know if I will use them, but they're fun. Some words and stuff. I recently placed another order, of course, <laughs> and I think I ordered this sheet again. I'm so bad for that. Next we have this one. This one is a two-pack. They all have like a gold outline on around them. Love those. And the other one in here was like a ballet sheet. These have like an iridescent like finish to them. There's little ballet slippers down there, ballerinas, 
the little dresses and roses. Love that. Then we have a Easter pack here. Easter is one holiday I don't have a lot of stuff for, like nail art. There's this cute little bunny sheet. They kind of remind me of Peeps, back on. <laughs> These ones are so cute. And lastly, there's this one with some little hedgehogs on it, bunnies, little hearts. And that was that pack. Then I got this sheet here with like some little gingerbread men on them. Some snowflakes and hearts. I'm going to be so set for Christmas stickers next year. <laughs> These ones are like snowmen, some greenery, stockings. This one is super fun. This is like a baby shower sticker sheet and I don't have anything like this. Some little baby feet and teddy bears. I love the little bottle. I'm so happy to have that one. Next up, another Christmas pack. <laughs> This one comes with six sheets. I find the ones that come on these like shorter, thicker papers don't stick as well. How cute is that little polar bear? Little peppermint candies. I really like this sheet. The little skate and the snowman. Ooh, this reminds me of, like Little Red Riding Hood. There's some wolves, the girl with the basket, flowers. And then this one here is kind of like plaid theme. actually don't own any of these, I don't think, which is a plus. We have three more packs to go through. This one is a five pack. They are like red foil stickers. In a Valentine's Day theme. It's that one. This one here is all hearts. I have this sheet in black and white, and I've used all the little arrows on it. So I'm happy to have that in red. Some more hearts and bows. They're all like slightly different, but the same at the same time. <laughs> and then last but not least, there's this like marriage kind of one. I really like that. We are on to the last pack. It was a four pack sticker sheet. This is the first one. It has some lips on there, some like girls, like castle with a dog. I like that. And then we have this one here, which is just all little hearts. I 
I love this love. That's really cool. Last but not least, this one here is kind of like it's up nail polishes and some sunglasses. Super like girly fun stickers. And I also forgot about these. They are some lip charms. These ones actually feel like they have a nice curve to them. So they don't like stick up anywhere. Only a little bit on the sides. I really like that. I don't have any 3D lips. And that was everything for my haul. We will swatch the new colors I got. I have my swatch sticks all ready to go. I use the stiletto ones. We are going to start with the two colors that didn't come in a collection first. Starting with Strawberry Margarita. This is that like beautiful raspberry pink, the color that I have on my nails. This one applied really nicely in two thin coats on my own nails. Here's this color with two coats. It is not streaky or translucent at all. I really like this one. Next up we have Apre Golden Anniversary. This was my first ever color from them and I love the brush. I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell in here but it's super thin at the top. Makes it very easy to apply to the cuticle area. It's very similar to the one I swatched in my last video. Super sparkly. I really like that. I'm really wanting to try their like neon colors because I feel like they would go on really well and it's so hard to find good neons that aren't streaky especially like pink and yellow and that is golden anniversary with two coats I'm going to stick this on everybody <laughs> I love it We're going to do the Keep It Collection by Purple Professional next. I'm just going to put these colors in order. We are going to start off with P2257, Keep It Chic. I love this brand. I only recently started buying them. Because usually when gel polishes are on the cheaper price point, they're not that great. But this brand is not like that at all. I love that shimmer in there. Next up we have Keep It Fun P2258. This is like that medium tone green. I can tell by looking at how creamy that is, it's going to cover well. I 
There's one coat. Next up we have Keep It Simple P2259. It's almost like a fuchsia pink with like a bluish undertone to it. Ooh, that covers really well. It's like a nice wintry pink. Next up we have Keep It Real P2260. This is that like lavender purple. This one goes on a little bit later than the other ones, but that's only normal for a pastel color. I'm surprised that one's not more streaky than what it actually is. It's actually not streaky at all. And next up we have Keep It Cool P2261. This is that like burnt orangey brown color. I'm really impressed so far with how these are applying. I'm going to get so much use out of this color. That's what that one looks like. Last but not least, we have this one here in Keep It Up, P2262. It's like the more lighter green. Ooh, this one covers nice. Perfect color for spring. Here are all the colors double coated. Overall, I really like this collection. I think they give you a variety of colors in different shades. Like you have two green, but they're like two totally different green. Normally, I don't like collections that come with green or more than one green, but these ones I'm okay with because I don't have colors similar to them. This one I will get a ton of use in the fall. It's like that perfect burnt orangey brown. This purple covered really well. It wasn't streaky or anything like that. These two like pinky ones, I love. This one will be on my nails next, I'm pretty sure. This one, I also have a ton of people that will use it and I think it'll be very popular for Valentine's. If there is certain colors you would like to see in a video, please let me know in the comments below and I will do that for you. I love this gold. I almost want to buy a second bottle because I'm terrified to run out. Just wanted to quickly compare the Opry Golden Anniversary to the Unvogue Pop the Cork. 
that came out in their new collection for the holidays. Um, the Golden Anniversary from Opry has more of like a golden undertone to it. And it makes it more pigmented, where this one is like a little bit more sparkly, but it doesn't have as deep of an undertone. If I had to pick just one though, I still think I would pick the Golden Anniversary by Opry.